Hey guys, what's up? It, uh, bringing the bacon here. And if you haven't noticed, we're still wearing the same clothes. That's because we took this opportunity, being early in the day, to record like a whole bunch of stuff. And a little update from the last video I'm still laughing about. Ninny Mug in here. <laughs> Got the bright idea. He didn't wipe his hands off after he ate the spicy chicken sandwich. And then he wiped his eye. And his eye is still burning. 30 minutes later. I think I'm partially blind in my left eye now. I shouldn't be laughing at that. Because it could easily happen to me. It has happened to me before. But not with a chicken sandwich. With hot sauce. Like like even if you wipe it off. Yeah, it's still got traces. Still that residue, yeah. And I've forgotten about it. My eyes started itching before. That hurts. It does. It burns yeah. for like two hours. But the point is. You just have to force yourself to cry. Yeah, you have to force yourself to cry to wash it out. I'm not a crier, so I ne I will not back down. Yeah, if you've ever watched Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, this guy is like the cop on there that he sucks his tear back up. <laughs> That's a loogie, not a tear. Anyway, but today, uh, Arby's just came out with brown sugar bacon sandwiches. So, we are bringing the bacon once again. And here they are, in there. Bacon glory. I keep looking at the viewfinder again. Mm. Oh. oh, I feel like we got a garden. Is that rabbit on top? <laughs> it sure ain't the Garden of Eden. <laughs> what if they had this in the Garden of Eden? <laughs> I know they didn't have BLTs. Mm, true. Oh, my. okay. Yeah, I'm, the only bad thing is I am going to have to tear some of this lettuce you off. Gotta, like, Half a head of cabbage right there. Or lettuce. Cabbage? Yeah, I'm going to have to tear some of this off. Because y'all can't even oh. see the bacon from the underside. I got maters. You can take your maters off. I'm going to. I don't like tomatoes. You know, when I was a kid, I hated tomatoes. Now I love them. I don't know what it is. Well, they say your taste buds change every seven years. Supposedly. And they put a dab of mayonnaise on them. Oh, no! He dropped the bacon. Well, my life just ended. Drop some of the bacon. You only drop one piece. One piece. Look That's how much. One too many. It is one too many. But look how much. Look, there's that many pieces, and then all of that. Granted, the sandwich is six dollars. <laughs> he looks miserable, and he probably is. We've had what four sandwiches yeah. today <laughs> already, plus a. Plus a bag of bacon. Uh, we were going to do the Wendy's Frosty Chino, but mm -hmm. we decided to do that another day. <laughs> Are you going to be okay to do this? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we get her. <laughs> he, he, he looks like one of those cartoons you'd see after they ate too much. They're like laying on their back. Uh, going. I feel like Shaggy or Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Way out there. <laughs> You know, yes, now, keep in mind, on all these videos, nobody is sponsoring this. We are not sponsored by anybody. I don't even think we're allowed to be sponsored with, by anybody for YouTube's rights right now. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're allowed to be sponsored before they start, start right. sponsoring you. Um, but, I mean, I guess if you went and did local commercials, that would be okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm not into that. Okay, let's just go ahead and get this up with. BLT. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are napkins that Chick Fil A gave. Oh, there they are. Oh, here's brown sugar. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's like once you get through the garden, you've made it into heaven. Yeah. I got in early. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that bacon is good. Yes. Yeah. That that other one was definitely a honey cured bacon. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of pepper. Too much oh, pepper, yeah. to be honest with you. Actually, the pepper wasn't too bad with it, I thought. It wasn't bad until you got those pepper pockets. <laughs> oh. Ah, she was in a poly pocket, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to edit that. I'm not going to edit that out either on that video. Because no, I'm not. Because that would be, that's, that's, that's classic. I might be on a t-shirt one of these days. Spicy in the poly pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poly pocket, but spicier. Pretty much. Oh. Uh, ah. <laughs> Mm. 
just to be flat honest with you, you can't really taste the tomato. Bacon is really good. Like yes. so much of it. I'm just going to take a piece of the bacon off. And it's like a, a brown sugar sauce. Yeah. They put, in, like, they infuse the bacon with it. You can actually lift all that stuff too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a syrup. Coating. Unless they, like, put a little water and the brown sugar together and mixed it up and glazed it and heated it up like that. Oh, no. There's actually brown sugar on it. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. There's a lot of things that's really good in this life. As far as food wise. But I think when you. Okay, yeah. I thought I had to put mayonnaise in my eyebrow. <laughs> but when you mix something like brown sugar or honey and you put it on bacon, it just makes everything a whole lot better. That's probably in the top 10, I would say, of greatest food combinations. Yes. Uh. Not a shout out or anything like that, but Paula Dean's restaurant in Pigeon Forge. Mm -hmm. She has a candied bacon where the brown sugar is baked into it. Really? Yeah, it's like crispy and crunchy and yeah. It's like candy with a saltiness to it huh. and, and smokiness. But anyway, that's off on a side note. Uh, this is the BLT version. There are so many others. I take that back. There's only like three in all. But there's a roast beef, and then there's a ham and Swiss with this brown sugar bacon on it. We decided just to go simple with the BLT just to give you a review on the bacon itself, if that makes sense. So, thank you all for watching. Upcoming, we're going to start, I got a snack crate coming. Uh, sometime. Sometime. Well, see, the thing with snack crate is it's, it's a subscription service. And where it comes from other countries, it's got to get go pass through our uh, border security. Like, it's got to pass our un enough FDA standards for them to allow it to be shipped to this country. So it actually does come from the other countries, and then they compile it together in a warehouse and then ship it to you. So sometimes, I mean, I have gotten a notification two days before my next month would be uh, coming out of my bank account. Hmm that it was on its way so i mean that is the downside of this that service but it kind of adds to the authenticity that they are actually from other countries um we're going to do a box called america's box or america's crate because america that's why <laughs> bald eagle in the background <laughs> Get POTUS in the background shooting an M60. Police? POTUS. Oh, POTUS. <laughs> you said police. I was like, why does the police have M60s? <laughs> anyway. Um, and then uh, there's a couple other crates and stuff that I'm going to get into that are not food. Because, frankly, with as much we've ate today, and if we kept doing that, I really don't want to be cardiac arrest by the time I'm 30. And I've got three years left, people. I can't eat that much. I, got, I had a food challenge planned, but I'm reconsidering that now. I got eight and a half years down there. He's a young duckling. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Send this to all the people you love and the ones you hate, too. I don't care. But <laughs> I mean, I don't care if you do. Just hope they don't hate me for it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, God bless. Love y'all. See you next time. <laughs>